Hey guys, welcome back to Bronx's Math Club. Today's topic is how to estimate decimal quotients. Judging by this title, this may seem complicated and to some of you, you may be like, oh my gosh, this is going to be really hard. Let me just skip this chapter. But, I mean, just skip this topic. Well, wait a second. All you're doing in this topic is making it easier for yourself to divide decimal numbers, okay? So, for example, let's take a problem. 77... Point eighty nine, okay, divided by thirty three point fifty two. Now let me write this again. Thirty three point fifty two. Now this is pretty complicated to, especially to fifth graders who have not seen it ever in your um classes, okay. So the first thing you do is you have to make these numbers whole numbers. How do you do this? Well, let's take 77.89 and let's make this a whole number. Now, as you see here, 77.89, and now I'm making a range. Why am I making a range? This is zero, and what's the, what's the number that goes at the end? Well, to do this, we have to look at the number after the decimal point, which is 89, and we all know that the decimal point always counts as a 1, and the digits after it will go as zeros. So... In this case, it's 100, so we put this 100 at the end of the range. Now, we have to put the number in between, which will be 50, okay? Now, we have to take this number, the number after the decimal point, and put it in our range. We know that 89, 89, in this case, is greater than 50, so it will be somewhere over here, okay? Now, we have to check and see if the, if the number is less than 50, it will be rounded to 0, and if it's greater than 50 will be rounded to 100. We know that 89 is greater than 50, so it will be rounded to 100. Now, if it's 100, we have, then we go back to our decimal number, okay? Now, we, we look at the number after, before the decimal point, in this case, 77, and this number is a whole number. And if, if it's 100, then we have to advance this whole number, 77, by one unit, which will be 78. And that's all we do. This is our whole number, okay? This is how we estimate this number to 78. So 77.89, it will be estimated to 78. Now, let's do the next number, which is 33.52. So 33.52. Now remember, look at the number after the decimal point, which is 52. And we know that the decimal point always is a 1. And the digits after it count as zeros, okay? There's two zeros, because two numbers, okay, so 100. So now we make a range from 0 to 100, okay. We put the number that in between, which is 50. Now we take this number, the number after the decimal point, and we put this in our range. So we know that 52 is going to be after 50, so somewhere over here. And now if it's less than 50, the number, then we round that to 0, okay, and if it's greater then 50 then we round that to 100. Now we know that 52 is greater than 50 by two digits, so we round that to 100. Okay, so if it's 100, if we round it to 100, we come back over here, we look at the number before the decimal point, which is 33, and we advance that by one unit. So 33, this whole number, is going to become 34. And that's all you do. This is our two whole numbers. Now we can put our, we can bring down our division sign, and what you have here now is your new problem, which is easy to solve. So I'm eight divided by thirty-four. Now, isn't wasn't that easier? And so now we put this in division form. So seventy-eight, thirty-four, seventy-four, seventy-eight goes inside the box. Thirty-four goes out. Okay. Now, we have to check and see which number times 34 will go evenly into 78. Even if it doesn't go evenly, we still have to divide. So, we know that 34 times 1 is 34. 34 times 2 is 68. 34 times 3 is, well, I don't know that. Let me just go here and do the multiplication. So 34 times 3, 3 times 4 is 12, bring that one over, 
3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus that 1, okay, is a 10. So, 34 times 3 is 102. Now, remember, every time you're doing the time table and you don't get it, you can always go back. There's no problem with that, okay? So, if you look at this, 102 is greater than 78. So, you'll have to go with the uh, choice before that, which is 34 times 2 is 68. So, 34 times 2 is 68. Now, we subtract these two numbers. So, 8 minus 8 is 0. 7 minus 6 is 1. And now, we have a remainder of 10. 10 is less than 34, so it cannot go on, right? So, we, put, we bring this over here. Write R for remainder and 10. This is going to be a quotient or a decimal problem, okay? So I hope you guys got this and uh, we'll see you guys next time in our next topic.